Okay. Uh, how are homosexuals uh, treated under uh, Islamic societies? I mean, quite frankly, pretty terribly. If you look at most countries, I mean, Saudi Arabia, they kill gays. In other, in uh, most Middle Eastern countries, they don't like um, hom homosexuals. They don't like transgenders. Basically, the whole entire LGBT community is under siege under Islam, and. Um, I think a lot of people in America who try to um, who try to say that Islam isn't bad or that Islam isn't violent or that they don't oppress people are wrong because if you look at uh, the facts of what's going on in other countries, Islam is one of the biggest threat to people who are gay and. Um, and we're out here just trying to show that no matter what people think about Donald Trump, he's actually pro-LGBT and he's pro-protecting people's rights, unlike Islam. And so all these people who are here protesting um, him trying to stop, uh, temporarily halt illegal immigration from other countries, we're just trying to prove that this is all in an effort to make America safe again. So that's my take on it. What part of the uh, gay population knows this? Um, probably not a lot of them, especially considering we've seen signs at protests of people saying LGBT for Islam or transgenders for Islam when it's just not true. What do you think? Do you feel like they're being duped? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I think the media is lying to them. I think the media um, portrays Islam as something that's the victim when really they're victimizing people who are different. They're victimizing women, LGBTs, you know, anyone who um, goes against their religion. It's just, um, they just don't like people who are different from them. And we're all for including people here.